Welcome, and thank you for joining us today. In this presentation, we'll explore an interesting question. Does Exodus chapter 12 verse 16 refer to Saturday and Sunday as sacred days of rest? Many of us are familiar with the weekly Sabbath, but the Bible also speaks of other holy days that may not follow the typical weekly pattern. Together, we'll dive into the context of this passage, focusing on its connection to the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and we'll uncover what it truly means when it talks about the first and seventh days being days of sacred assembly. Let's get started. In Exodus chapter 12 verse 16, we read, On the first day you are to hold a sacred assembly, and another on the seventh day. You must not do any work on those days, except to prepare the meals, that is all you may do. So, does this verse refer to Saturday and Sunday? Let's explore. Context of Exodus chapter 12 Exodus chapter 12 describes the institution of the Passover. The Israelites were to select a lamb on the tenth day of the first month, Exodus chapter 12 verse 3. The first month was originally called Abib, but was later called Nisan under Roman rule. On the fourteenth day, they were to slaughter the lamb and smear its blood on the doorposts so the Lord would pass over their homes when bringing the plague of the death of the firstborn sons, verses 12 and 13. This act of protection marked the very first Passover. The following day, the fifteenth of the first month, began the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which was to last for seven days. Verse 16 mentions that both the first day of the festival, the fifteenth day of the month, and the seventh day of the festival, the twenty-first day of the month, were to be days of sacred assembly, days on which no work was permitted, except for preparing meals. Do these days refer to Saturday and Sunday? No, these days do not refer to Saturday and Sunday. The first and seventh days mentioned here refer specifically to the fifteenth and the twenty-first days of the first month in the Hebrew calendar, which could fall on any day of the week. These days were observed as special Sabbaths, though they did not necessarily align with the weekly Sabbath day. Key References from Leviticus In Leviticus chapter 23 verse 3, the weekly Sabbath is clearly defined, six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of complete rest. This aligns with the seventh day Sabbath that God blessed at the end of the creation week. This is the weekly rhythm of work and rest established by God, with the seventh day, Saturday, being the Sabbath. Please note that this Sabbath is not associated with any feast or meals. In contrast, Leviticus chapter 23 verse 5 to 8 outlines the Passover and Feast of Unleavened Bread. The feast starts on the fifteenth day of the first month, and both the first and seventh days of the feast are set apart as holy convocations, no regular work is to be done. High Sabbaths these special Sabbaths, like those on the 15th and 21st days of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, were also referred to as High Sabbaths when they coincided with the regular weekly Sabbath. For example, after Jesus' crucifixion, the Sabbath following his death was a High Sabbath, John chapter 19 verse 31, because it fell during the Passover festival. Indeed, this Sabbath clearly disproves the notion that the first and seventh days mentioned in Exodus chapter 12 verse 6 refer to Sunday and Saturday respectively. At that time, the first day of the festival, the fifteenth day of the month, occurred on Saturday. If you want to confirm that Jesus died during Passover, then please share your comments to let us know if you would like us to prepare a study about it. However, here is a brief outline. In Matthew chapter 26 verse 2, Jesus states, You know that the Passover is two days away, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. This verse clearly links his crucifixion to the Passover time frame. Mark chapter 14 verse 1 and 2 state, Now the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread were two days away, and the chief priests and scribes were looking for a way to put Jesus to death. It confirms that the events leading to his crucifixion were closely tied to Passover. Luke chapter 22 verse 1 and 2. Here, it is stated, Now the feast of unleavened bread, called the Passover, was approaching, and the chief priests and scribes were looking for a way to put Jesus to death. 
This reinforces the connection between the feast and the plot against Jesus. Please note that the Passover took one day on the 14th day of Nisan or Abib, immediately followed by the Feast of Unleavened Bread for seven days. John chapter 18 verse 28 indicates that the Jewish leaders did not enter the governor's headquarters to avoid ceremonial uncleanness, so that they could eat the Passover. This suggests that the events surrounding Jesus' trial and crucifixion occurred during the Passover period. John chapter 19 verse 14 states, Now it was the day of preparation of the Passover, it was about noon. This verse should not be confusing that Jesus was crucified on the day of the preparation of the Passover, for as our Passover lamb, he had to be killed on the very day of Passover, the fourteenth day of the first month. Remember the lamb was slaughtered in the evening. In 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7, Paul refers to Christ as our Passover lamb, indicating that Jesus' sacrificial death is directly associated with the Passover lamb tradition which further solidifies the connection between his death and the Passover. These references collectively indicate that Jesus' crucifixion occurred during the Passover, aligning his death with the symbolism of the Passover lamb, which was a central theme in the Jewish celebration of this feast. We have stated all these as a way of explaining that Jesus died during Passover, and the following day marked the beginning of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the first day of the festival that was observed for seven days. Therefore, the first day of the feast actually occurred on the seventh day Sabbath and as such it was known as a high Sabbath. Conclusion Exodus chapter 12 verse 16 refers to specific holy days during the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which could fall on any day of the week. These days were not tied to the weekly cycle of the Sabbath and therefore do not refer to Saturday or Sunday specifically. Rather, they marked significant moments in Israel's religious calendar, observed as sacred Sabbaths, regardless of the weekday on which they occurred.